Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM SIP. How to install Resource Kit. So Resource Kit is nothing but the SIP API provision. Whenever you install the Resource Kit, the SIP API will be available for you in order to develop any custom application. So in today's session, we will see what are the steps which are required to install the Resource Kit. The first thing you have to get a valid installer from the Informatica support team. The installer will look like this, the name of Hub Resource Kit install. Once uh, make sure you have the appropriate rights to install the resource kit. If you don't have, try to run with the elevated rights like run as administrator so that so for example if my current user do not have rights then it will use the administrative rights it will start to prepare for the installation and the, the preparing screen will look like this so uh, actually installer uses one third party component that is like flexca software llc which will inbuilt come with the installer. So it is checking whether your system um, fulfilling the requirement or not. For example, if this installer available only for 32 bit computer and you are having six, 64 bit computer, then this installer will fail in the during the preparation phase only. Make sure you have a valid directory means if you can create any empty directory before uh, the installation or you can create a directory during installation as well. So that your resource kit will be get installed in that particular directory. So it is just preparing for the installation. Once uh, everything is appropriately uh, available in your system, then this pop-up will come. You can choose a language in which you want to have your installation. For example, if you want to install your resource kit in Deutsch language, then you can select Deutsch. If you want any other language, then you can select appropriate language. I'm selecting English. Click on OK button. So it is trying to gather some minimum requirement so that on that particular location the installation will happen. Now this time uh, it will give us one screen which will provide various steps. So let's click on the next. You have to accept the agreement. So what are the things you are looking for? Are you looking for sample schema, sample and util samples and utilities, SIF SDK and Java Doc, BPM SDK, Jasper Soft, SSN M3. If you are looking for everything, select all those. Click on the next. Now the sample requires sample schema to be created. It is saying that. In, in the database and registered with the Informatic MDM hub server. Selecting sample schema will copy the required database file in install home. Currently, we are not going to select sample schema because we are not created at database site. You must get sample schema. Okay, so that means samples and util. that's fine click OK which location where you want to install at the e directory I have created one folder uh, MDM resource kit so give this path for this installation and 
click on install so it is saying whether would you like to create product icon if you want to create like any specific icon you can give otherwise what are the product icon available at the default location that will be used Do you want to install just sources of the sample or do you also want to configure them? If you select source only, samples cannot be configured and cannot be configured and deployed later. For samples configuration, the application server and hub server should be running. Also, sample schema should be registered with the system database. As we are not using the sample schema, we will not going to have any issues make sure our application server and hub server are running so i already started my application server and it is going on click on install which server you, you are going to use make sure what are the server where you have installed your hub application use that server my application is installed on jbus so i am selecting jbus that is by default selection select the path for the application server home so you have to select the application server in my case it is installed at the c directory click next configuration name is standalone port jbus remote port is 4447 informatica mdm hub admin password you can give the admin password click next it is waiting for um, ORS to be connected choose the informatic MDM client ORS ID to be used with the sample sample server so we have the various um, things so you can use appropriate I am selecting sample yes run the script during installation for example it will run the post installation steps so do you want to do that if you want no I will learn myself you can do that and install if you choose not to deploy the sample application now you will you will have to manually deploy so we will do that manually if required check yes and click this is the summary what you have selected and what you don't have click install and it will take few minutes to get it installed now during installation is something went wrong where you can check so what are the directory when you just selected in that directory a debug log file will be created so whatever going on during the installation that will be logged inside this directory one which is created so the files are getting generated you can see one by one the samples deploy build these are the files are getting generated during this installation if you are using the jasper reports in the idd application you can use this jasper software which will comes during the resource kit installation if you want to use some sample examples then you can use the samples folder in order to refer some sample example if you are using any task management process or task management server then you can use bpm sdk up for task management related activity then we have some utilities also utilities that will be useful during your installation now this installation pop-up says informatica mdm hub resource kit has been successfully installed then we click done the more important for part for our services integration framework is nothing but sdk that is safe sdk that is available inside resource kit install sdk and sif sdk sif sdk nothing but a jar file and these are the jar files which are available to use 
over all the classes like Cyprian client, EGB Cyprian client, HTTP Cyprian client, etc. and all other Cyprian client uh, classes are available in Cyprian-api.jar and Cyprian-common.jar. So these are the jars which will be used during your application development. Other, uh, other jars required like caster, common HTTP client, common post, log4j, access file for the web service, j2 jar for the j2 application, web logic, for, web logic jar for the web logic application. If you are using WebSphere, then WebSphere application jars are available in these folders. So these are the details about this. Now, if suppose you want to refer your resource kit or your Java docs, then you have to go to the resource kit SDK, CIF SDK, Java doc, and open this index file. Once you open, you will get one HTML file where you have you will be having the Java doc available. So you can refer any of this file for your reference. I hope you got the how to install the resource kit for your Informatica MDM services integration framework. I hope this tutorial will help you during your installation of the resource kit. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice time. You can subscribe my channel for more updates.